Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I was just sitting here under the shade of the juniper tree and I uh, was thinking about a, an acquaintance of mine, a very dear soul, who has suffered what is commonly termed a dark attack just recently that went on and on for days and weeks. And uh, she's, uh, she's asked for prayers and, and uh, good wishes and uh, blessings. And uh, so I was sitting here with prayers and good wishes and blessings for this very dear soul. And uh, first I, I tried the, the blessing of the violet light of St. Germain for protection. And then the blue light of Archangel Michael and both were a lot of fun. <laughs> then I tried Sekhmet. Sekhmet is a lion a being who protects both men and women from the fiercest foes, from the fiercest antagon antagonists. So I imagined Sekhmet um, duplicated and triplicated all standing in, in order all around her house and protecting and guarding it. And that was pretty successful too. I just felt a, a feeling of fierce protection descending on her house. <laughs> and it was great. And so, but then um, I got to thinking uh, that inside of that circle of protection, that beautiful circle of, of crystal white light around her place and all the surrounding houses in the community all around, maybe I could place the, the loving protection of Mother Mary. And I thought of this because recently the, the mother energy has been returning to, to humanity from Earth, through Earth, and, uh, and it just seemed very appropriate. So I was sitting here under the juniper tree. And I imagined I, I, I called forth Mother Mary's energy and presence. And the moment I did, the air turned a kind of a, a, a golden yellow color, a warm yellow color. And I could feel her presence all around me and all around the earth. It was, it was a wonderful feeling. And it, that, that presence stayed with me for quite some time. So, as I ended my meditation, I just uh, I just had a thought about my mater my paternal grandmother, and what a what a a wonderful example she was of of maternal love and grandmotherly love and spiritual beautiful bright spiritual energy, and uh, one of the things that she taught me um, was how to how to pray regularly she taught me first thing on getting up last thing on going to bed to to say a special prayer for the early morning or for or for the evening for sundown and i i'm so happy that she taught me the value of of prayer and of a uh, devotion as a way of life and of the beauty of flowers, kindness to everyone. She was a wonderful human being and I was very honored to know her for many years. So along those lines, I just thought I'd mention, um, there was another telephone conver uh, conference call with Daniela Breen yesterday and one of the things she mentioned was how important for the for the incoming light right now it might be to establish a spiritual practice of praying or meditating or um, stillness, any stillness exercise or yoga, all those things, five times a day, much as the Muslims do. She thought, and I agree completely, that this kind of practice brings um, brings stillness directly into our lives and allows us to persevere through these times. As the light becomes more and more intense, it's great to be able to be still and sit with the presence of, of the Divine, or as you may call it, Source, or you may call it God, or whatever you call it. Anyway, I thought I'd take our words to heart and uh, practice stillness five times a day in my grandmother's devotion to heart and practice devotion 
all day long insofar as I can. And in closing, I'd just like to wish you all the energy of motherly love, the energy of the mother returning to earth, and her all-encompassing compassion and love for everyone, no matter what. You know, for the mother, you can be a naughty child, but you'll never be an unloved child. That's what I found. She accepts me just the way I am. Well, see y'all later.